Hey, ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody, look what I got. I got a box. <laughs> and it's a nice box, let me tell you. It's a very, very nice box because in the box is the CYC motor that I think I ordered back in, oh, August sometime. If you follow my channel, you know that I sold my old e-bike, my fat tire e-bike, and straight away, with the money I got, <laughs> I went out and bought this CYC motor, and it cost over a thousand pound. Um, I think it was about eleven hundred pound or something like that. Um, but it's only now turned up. It just turned up today, so I'm gonna do an unboxing. I haven't touched it. I haven't opened it. Um, so you're gonna see it live. What I see, I'm gonna unbox it, and we'll peek inside, and we'll see what it's in there, and we'll see what it's like. And I think it's going to be blinking good. <laughs> well, it should be for the money. But anyway, let's get a knife or something. Let's cut it open. Let's have a look inside. Okay then, I'm going to take the stuff out of the box, I'm going to have to relocate to a different place with a bigger table, I'll get the old folding table out and we'll put the pieces on there and we'll have a peek at all the bits in the box. Okay then, let's go through all the bits one by one or two by two or whatever it is, but first of all I got the grip for the one side there and then this is the throttle, I chose the the throttle feels quite nice. I don't know if that's just a push fit, I'm not quite sure. I can't see. But that's the throttle I chose. And then in this bag here, I'll take this out of the bag. I'll take this out of another bag. <laughs> it's a lot of bags, bags within bags. And you can see this is the display. Um, and this comes with the switches and whatnot. It's quite a nice colorful display. Looks a bit scratchy, but I hope that's a screen protector because it looks like his. Let me just check if that's a screen protector. Hang about. Yes, it is. That's okay. <laughs> I was going to say then, it was looking a bit scratchy, but um, I can see now it's just a screen protector. So that's the uh, screen, and that goes up to 72 volts. I think I've chose the the most expensive screen because that goes all the different voltages, if you know what I mean. So that comes with that, and it comes with a little, a few little rubber things, look, so you can, if your bars are a different size or whatnot, so that's that there, it's got that connector on it, I don't know if you can see, if we put that to one side there, and then what have we got next then, we've got the, let's put that out of the way as well over there, then we've got the, the pedal arms, let's see if I can get this out of here, I think I've chose the 175, millimeter ones and that's a lovely that's nice that is that's really yeah 175 it says in there and it's got half a right so <laughs> i can't go wrong can i um so i've got these pedals here pedal arms i should say and they're quite nice aren't they a little bit of a mark there but um they have been transported so they're quite nice obviously left and right and the, the two bolts to put them in so that's quite nice and then the update to the gen 3 as they've gone for this nice splined uh, effect, you know, obviously that goes in there like that. Um, but that's quite nice as well. It's got a tough gear there, so that must correspond with something in the other part, which I'll show you in a minute. But that's quite nice there. Threaded either side. This is a quality kit, this is. It's very nice. It's very, very, very nice. Then we've got this bag here. Now, a lot of stuff in this bag, so we'll start with this here. Uh, what have we got here? This looks like a magnetic speed sensor. So there'll, there'll be another part of this somewhere in here, I think. Uh, this goes on the bike frame. And then that goes towards a sensor. There should be one in there somewhere. We'll have a look now. So that's that there. Then I ordered the magnetic brake sensors. And they've got N2206 on them. These look uh, better than the normal cheap ones you get as well. These are quite nice. Oh, they got CYC um, ingrained on there, but there. And that's got, I think it's got three connectors on there. 
because this is part of the loom as well. Let me undo it slightly. This is part of the loom, so it's got a connector there. I think this goes to the controller. I don't know if it's going to be long enough. It doesn't look that long, to be honest. I hope it's long enough to go up to the handlebars. But they do sell an extension kit. I don't know if I need that. hope not. And then it's got a connector there and a connector there. I'm assuming one of them is for the um, last yellow look. So that's going to connect to that. And then this is... No, it's not that one, is it? That's not going to connect to that, is it? No, that's not for that. So there must be something, something else that connects to that. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, so anyway, oh, that's the display, isn't it? That's probably the display that there is for the throttle there. Anyway, so that's that. And then, let's look in here as well. Grease, looks like grease. Um, this, is this the... Yeah, that, I think that is the thing that goes on the spokes with some magnets on. I th oh no, them magnets, there's two magnets there. That's for your brake sensors, I think. And then this thing here clamps onto the spokes. So that's that there. Uh, I think this bracket is obviously to hold the, something to do with the motor. There's another bracket there, look, which is to do with the motor. It's got some foam in there. We've got a couple of cable ties. We've got, uh, like a lock ring there with some washers and we've got some spacers. So I think it does three different sizes of bottom bracket. That's why you've got all these spacers for. Uh, you can download the uh, manual, I think, which I'll have a look at later on. So there's some washers in there as well. So let's let's get on to the, the meat and potatoes of it all and have a look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that nice? Do you know what? The quality of this is absolutely fantastic. And like you've got a connector, it's three connectors coming off. One there, one there, and obviously that's the, the main battery power there. Um, what can I say about it? It does, it looks really, really well made. Really well made. If I turn it upside down, a nice bit of weight to this as well. I'll turn it upside down like that, put it there for a minute. You can see it's got the, I've, ordered the 3000 watt controller. I think 3000 watts is enough for me. <laughs> but they do a 5000 a watt one as well. Bit more expensive, not a lot more expensive, but I've gone for this 3000 watt one. And you can see there, it's got like a, a spring clamp there. And that's keeping the tension on this main uh, chain here. And then your secondary chain, which goes to the cogs at the back of the bike. So, and look at it, it's really well made. This is nice. Everything's really nice on you. Oh, look, I've just seen something that's not very nice. I just found something that's not very nice, look. This lovely glass case here, look. I don't know if that's been over tightened there, or this has been damaged in transit. But uh, I think I'm gonna have to ask them. Is there another crack there? Yeah, there's another crack there. So there's a crack there, and a big crack there. Ah, oh, that's a shame, isn't it? I'll contact um, CYC and see if they can send a new piece of... It's like a piece of Perspex, isn't it? But I think the, whoever's tightened this up has been a little bit... <laughs> They've overdone it, I think. Because it comes really well packed. Don't get me wrong, this comes really well packed, this does. It's all in sponge and stuff. I think somebody's overdone that. Done it a little bit too tight. But what do you think, guys? Look at it, look at that. The quality, the quality of this is fantastic. It really is nice. Really, really nice. So I can't wait to fit this. But I'm um, looking at a small fire. It smells nice too. <laughs> smells new. Um, you can, I don't know if you can see there, that's the where the bracket goes. If anybody's fitted one before, the brackets go there to hold it on that way. And this is the bottom bracket part here. You undo this bit here, look. If I can undo it, I can't. Can, there we go. That bit undoes there. So, they said it's a slightly different design to the older ones, and this was easy to put on, apparently. So, um, it's nothing actually screws into the bottom bracket. It's sort of, you can see it sort of slides in, then does up. But, um, 
that's all the bits that come in the box. So next step is to put this on the bike. Okay then, there you go. That's all the bits that come in the box. It looks lovely, except for that bit of uh, cracked perspex. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I have emailed them. They haven't got back to me yet, so I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it doesn't affect the sort of running of the motor, will it? But I would like a new piece of perspex. If you're watching CRIC, send me a new piece of perspex. Anyway, so that's a quick look at it. Um, I'll do a separate video. I know you probably want to see me fit it as well on this video, but it's raining. It just keeps raining all the time. <laughs> and my shed, I got a, 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 a folded electric bike in there. I'm building a, um, a motorbike. And I've got the uh, CYC build in there. So there's not much room to film and put thing, things on. Uh, so I want to do it outside if possible. If I can't, the weather's too bad. I'll have to bring it in the house again and fit in the house. But anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll, I'll fit it as quick as possible. And the next video should follow quite soon um, of me fitting it. And it looks as if it's going to be quite easy to fit. But anyway, it looks nice. Um, it came well packed in the box. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be worth the money because 3000 watt motor is quite nice. That's double to what the last motor I had, which was 1500. That was the Bafang motor. Uh, BHSST is it? That was 1500. This one is at 3000. Well, depending on the battery put on it, really, I suppose. The battery's got enough of, enough oomph to power that 3000 watts. Um, and like I said, you can get a 5000 watt controller. Um, some people might say, oh, 3000 watts, you're going to snap a chain, that you're going to damage the cogs. No, you're not. If you, if you, if you ride it correctly, it'll be fine. Okay? So if anybody's getting, getting a bit dull, ooh, Calm down, calm down. <laughs> um, so I will fit it quite soon and you should see that video not long after this one. So anyway, if you did like this video, go on, give it a like, go on, go on, go on. Uh, subscribe, click the notification bell and you will see the next video. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hoi! -ho